Old Style and New Style Dates, Wikipedia Article Audio Old Style and New Style are terms sometimes used with dates to indicate that the calendar convention used at the time described is different from that in use at the time the document was being written. There were two calendar changes in Great Britain and its colonies, which may sometimes complicate matters. The first change was to change the start of the year from Lady Day to 1 January, the second was to discard the Julian calendar in favor of the Gregorian calendar. Closely related is the custom of dual dating, where writers gave two consecutive years to reflect differences in the starting date of the year or to include both the Julian and Gregorian dates. Start of the year in the historical records of Britain and its colonies and possessions. Scotland Adoption of the Gregorian calendar Adoption in the Americas Transposition of historical event dates and possible date conflicts Differences between Julian and Gregorian dates Use of old style and new style in English language publications describing events in other countries Notes Beginning in 1582, the Gregorian calendar replaced the Julian in Roman Catholic countries. This change was implemented subsequently in Protestant and Orthodox countries usually at much later dates. In England and Wales, Ireland, and the British colonies, the change of the start of the year and the changeover from the Julian calendar occurred in 1752 under the Calendar Act 1750. In Scotland, the legal start of the year had already been moved to January 1st but Scotland otherwise continued to use the Julian calendar until 1752. So new style can either refer to the start of year adjustment, or to the adoption of the Gregorian calendar. When recording British history it is usual to use the dates recorded at the time of the event, with the year adjusted to start on January 1st. But the start of the Julian year was not always January 1st, and was altered at different times in different countries. From 1155 to 1752, the civil or legal year in England began on March 25th so for example the execution of Charles I was recorded at the time in Parliament as happening on January 30th 164-8. In modern English language texts this date is usually shown as January 30, 164 9. The corresponding date in the Gregorian calendar is February 9, 1649, the date by which his contemporaries in some parts of continental Europe would have recorded his execution. The O.S. N.S. designation is particularly relevant for dates which fall between the start of the historical year and the official start date, where different. This was March 25 in England, Wales, and the colonies until 1752. During the years between the first introduction of the Gregorian calendar in continental Europe and its introduction in Britain, Contemporary usage in England started to change. In Britain January 1st was celebrated as the New Year Festival, but the year starting March 25th was called the Civil or Legal Year, although the phrase Old Style was more commonly used. To reduce misunderstandings about the date, it was normal in parish registers to place a New Year heading after March 24 and another heading at the end of the following December, 1661-62, to indicate that in the following few weeks the year was 1661 Old Style but 1662 New Style. Some more modern sources, often more academic ones, 
also use the 1661-62 style for the period between January 1 and March 25 for years before the introduction of the Gregorian calendar in England. Scotland had already partly made the change, its calendar year had begun on January 1 since 1600. Through the enactment of the Irish Parliament's Calendar Act, 1750, and the British Calendar Act 1750, Ireland, Great Britain and the British Empire adopted the Gregorian calendar in 1752, by which time it was necessary to correct by 11 days. Wednesday, September 2, 1752, was followed by Thursday, September 14, 1752. Claims that rioters demanded give us our 11 days grew out of a misinterpretation of a painting by William Hogarth. The British tax year traditionally began on Lady Day on the Julian calendar and thus became April 5, which was the old style equivalent. A twelfth skipped Julian Leap Day in 1800 changed its start to April 6. It was not changed when a 13th Julian Leap Day was skipped in 1900, so the tax year in the United Kingdom still begins on April 6. The European colonies of the Americas adopted the change when their mother countries did. In Alaska, the change took place after the United States purchased Alaska from Russia. Friday, October 6, 1867 was followed by Friday, October 18. Instead of 12 days, only 11 were skipped, and the day of the week was repeated on successive days, because at the same time the international date line was moved from following Alaska's eastern border with Canada to following its new western border, now with Russia. Usually, the mapping of new dates onto old dates with a start of year adjustment works well with little confusion for events which happened before the introduction of the Gregorian calendar. For example, the Battle of Agincourt is universally known to have been fought on October 25, 1415 which is St. Crispin's Day. But for the period between the first introduction of the Gregorian calendar on October 15, 1582 and its introduction in Britain on September 14, 1752, there can be considerable confusion between events in continental Western Europe and in British domains. Events in continental Western Europe are usually reported in English language histories as happening under the Gregorian calendar. For example, the Battle of Blenheim is always given as August 13, 1704. However confusion occurs when an event involves both. For example, William III of England arrived at Brixham in England on November 5th after setting sail from the Netherlands on November 11, in 1688. The Battle of the Boyne in Ireland took place a few months later on July 1, 1690. This maps to July 11, conveniently close to the Julian date of the subsequent Battle of Orem on July 12, 1691. This latter battle was commemorated annually throughout the 18th century on July 12, following the usual historical convention of commemorating events of that period within Great Britain and Ireland by mapping the Julian date directly onto the modern Gregorian calendar date. The Battle of the Boyne was commemorated with smaller parades on July 1. However, the two events were combined in the late 18th century and continue to be celebrated into modern times as the 12th. Because of the differences, English people and their correspondents often employed two dates, dual dating, more or less automatically. For this reason, letters concerning diplomacy and international trade sometimes bore both Julian and Gregorian dates to prevent confusion, for example, 
Sir William Boswell writing to Sir John Coke from The Hague dated a letter 12 22nd December 1635. In his biography of Dr. John D., the Queen's Conjurer, Benjamin Woolley surmises that because D. fought unsuccessfully for England to embrace the 1583-84 date set for the change, England remained outside the Gregorian system for a further 170 years, communications during that period customarily carrying two dates. In contrast, Thomas Jefferson, who lived during the time that the British Isles and colonies eventually converted to the Gregorian calendar, instructed that his tombstone bear his date of birth using the Julian calendar and his date of death using the Gregorian calendar. At Jefferson's birth the difference was 11 days between the Julian and Gregorian calendars, thus his birthday of April 2nd in the Julian calendar is April 13th in the Gregorian calendar. Similarly, George Washington is nowadays officially reported as having been born on February 22, 1732, rather than on February 11, 1731-32. There is some evidence that the calendar change was not easily accepted. Many British people continued to celebrate their holidays old style well into the 19th century a practice that according to the author Karen Bellanier reveals a deep emotional resistance to calendar reform. The need for change arose from the realization that the correct figure for the number of days in a year is not 365.25 as supposed by the Julian calendar but almost exactly 365.2425 days, a reduction of 10 minutes 48 seconds per year the Julian calendar has too many leap years. The consequence was that the basis for calculation of the date of Easter as decided in the 4th century had drifted from reality. The Gregorian calendar reform also dealt with the accumulated difference between these figures, between the years 325 and 1582 by skipping 10 dates to restore the date of the vernal equinox to approximately March 21st, the approximate date it occurred at the time of the First Council of Nicaea in 325. For a ready reckoner to assist in converting OS dates to NS and vice versa, see this table. It is common in English language publications to use the familiar old style and slash or new style terms when discussing events and personalities in other countries, especially with reference to the Russian Empire and the very early Russian Soviet. For example, in the article The October Revolution the Encyclopedia Britannica uses the format of October 25th to describe the date of the start of the revolution. When this usage is encountered, the reader should not assume that the British adoption date is intended, or that the start of year change and the calendar system change were adopted concurrently, or even that religious adoption accompanied civil adoption. In the case of Eastern Europe, for example, all of these assumptions would be incorrect.